Hi, this is Dr. Payne with Preg, and I would like to take a few minutes to tell you about how we can help same-sex couples achieve their goal of having a child together. We would need you to make an appointment with us, and that can be done in a number of ways. You can contact us through social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, online, or by phone. What we would do at that first appointment is find out about your history and um, decide what portions of the evaluation would be required for you to help get you pregnant. And then our evaluation would simply be to perform an ultrasound to look at your ovaries and uterus to determine what your antral follicle count or ovarian reserve is along with some labs typically around cycle day three and maybe cycle day 21 to look at your endocrine hormones, anti-malarian hormone level, um, a prenatal panel which is basically STD labs that we check on everyone and we would usually recommend doing a, an HSG hysterosalpingogram, which is an x-ray study that will evaluate your uterine cavity and fallopian tubes to make sure that your fallopian tubes are both patent or open so that when we do get an ovulation, we'll know that there's the, the um, pathway that would allow the sperm and eggs to interact and hopefully fertilization to occur in your fallopian tube and then the embryo to implant in your uterus. So we would usually get that evaluation in, the, in about one menstrual cycle and meet back and review your labs and come up with a plan of treatment. You would need to select a sperm donor. Uh, usually this is done anonymously through uh, sperm banks and um, the other option is that someone could occasionally use a known sperm donor which would require the same testing that's regulated by the FDA that, we, that the anonymous sperm donors undergo. Ideally, when you come in for your initial appointment, it would be great for your partner to be present with you. And this is for several reasons. One, so they can learn about the evaluation and treatment options that we have. Secondly, uh, some patients have different ideas about how they might want to get pregnant or maybe even have reciprocal IVF where one partner will uh, use their egg and fertilize with the sperm of the donor and then potentially transfer that embryo that's created into their partner's uh, uterus, much in the same way that we, we would do for a gestational carrier. So it's important to evaluate both women um, at the same time, checking their ovarian reserve, their uteruses, uh, the uterine cavity, uh, to see if they could carry a pregnancy, if structurally the uterus is normal, that there aren't fibroids or polyps or other things that could possibly cause issues with implantation of an embryo or inseminations. Once we do complete that evaluation, then the next step is the actual treatment. After you've selected your sperm donor, we would then be able to either do natural cycles where you would ovulate on your own, and this could work pretty well for a woman who ovulates regularly and has positive ovulation surges with her urine testing, but we usually will use some low-dose uh, fertility medicines such as Clomid or Fumera. Letrozole is the other name for Fumera. We will usually do ultrasound monitoring so that we can watch the follicular growth on your ovaries, determine how many follicles that are becoming dominant, which means you should have a mature egg in each of those dominant follicles, and check your endometrial lining for thickness and pattern. We're looking for a trilaminar pattern um, that tells us that your uterus seems to be at an optimal time for implantation. And then typically we will use a trigger shot of Ovidril, which is also HCG or human chorionic gonadotropin. And that trigger shot will basically force you to ovulate or help boost your ovulation such that you should not ovulate later than about 36 to 40 hours after the shot. And that really helps us to get the timing of the intrauterine insemination correct because when the egg ovulates, it's probably only fertilizable for about 12 to 24 hours. So we really want to get the timing as optimal as possible so that ideally you would have to undergo the fewest treatments possible to get you pregnant, which at the end of the day would save you money. And again, our goal is to help find the easiest, quickest, cheapest way to get you pregnant and ideally one baby at a time when we do that. Certainly one threat of using um, ovulation induction medicines like Clomid or Fumera could be the possibility of having more than one pregnancy develop, which would be a multiple gestation. We are certainly trying to avoid that, and typically with fertility pills and inseminations, we will have somewhere on the order of 10 to 15% risk of more than one pregnancy developing 
but fortunately, usually they are only twin pregnancies and rarely are there any higher order multiples, meaning triplets or more, which certainly we would like to always avoid in any of our treatments. We certainly hope that we'll see you at Preg. We look forward to helping you and your partner achieve a goal of starting a family together and cherish the opportunity to meet with you soon. Again, you can call our office, you can make an appointment online, uh, we, uh, you can make appointments through our social media, which is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hope you have a great day, and thank you for listening.